Good boy, Kemper. That's a nice one. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I usually do these intro videos before the track, and I did today, but I ended up messing it up, and um, I thought this track was for somebody else that I already tracked for, but it turned out it was somebody different that I already tracked for but it was his daughter and uh, she shot this deer yesterday morning um, and it was she knew it was far back ended up jumping the deer um, pretty much right away she just went she couldn't see the deer anymore went down to find the arrow and the deer got up and kind of took off a little bit so she just backed out they called me wow that's a lot of turkeys huh but sorry <laughs> anyway so we just came out there this morning and usually with a gut shot deer like when you jump it usually they'll go a couple hundred yards or, or sometimes they'll just go for miles at, you know if they're too nervous so I wasn't too sure about this track um, I definitely wanted to do it because you never know and and gut shots are definitely lethal um, but yesterday we did one that was gut shot and they had jumped it twice prior to us coming out and we we didn't get that one we couldn't couldn't catch up to it but this morning this track that you're gonna watch um, I should have just left the camera on the whole time because from where she shot it uh, to where we found it was only about 150 yards so timber made quick real quick work of it and I you know I couldn't be happier because uh, the hunter even said when we found the deer that she was very nervous because from right where we started where we sh where she shot it there was a little bit of white hair and then about six feet away there was another pile of not a pile but a little handful of, of white hair and that was it there wasn't there was no blood anywhere even like where she jumped the deer at there was there was nothing so um but then so there wasn't anything really to start timber on um that we could see other than that hair but once he took off i, I you know i confirmed with the hunter that this is the way the deer went uh timber started to turn to the left then i said whenever you jump the deer which way did it go and she said he went that way towards the left so i'm like okay timber's on it we went down to the left a little bit went out like 50 yards cut back to the right so i was kind of nervous about that thought maybe he was getting off because i feel like she would have been able to see the deer but i, I guess not you know the deer cut back up to the right and then up, up uphill so right there there's another thing i said in like think the very first video that i made the blood tracking tips um, you know, an old time myth is that, especially gut shot, a lot of, a lot of hunters think that gut shot deer always go to water and they don't. And this is a prime example, you know, that at first the deer was kind of headed to the left going down, down the hill towards water, but then actually turned to the right and went uphill and bedded in, in like a CRP field. Um, it wasn't really much of a field, but it was tall weeds like you would see in a CRP field. Um, bedded down there and, and died in that um, so and again um, you know some people always think well, I'll only give a gut shot deer 8 to 12 hours which is kind of kind of have to whenever it's real warm just in case so, you, so the meat don't spoil but when it's cold like this it's best just to wait 24 hours which we did and this deer wasn't dead that long um, I would say five six hours maybe um, Rigor Morris had definitely set in um, you know the ears were tightened 
Uh, the neck was a little stiff, but it, but it, you could definitely still move it. And the eyes weren't very hazed over. You could still see the coloration of the eyes. So, so not not super old. Um, but yeah, Timber did a great job, even though it was a short track. You know, like I said, there was no there was no blood. There was there was no sign from after the hit site. So, and it, like I said, the track was for right about 24 hours. So. Uh, you know, very proud. We definitely needed this one. It's been probably four days since our last find, and about four about four tracks too. So, so we're gonna keep on. Good boy, Kemper. That wasn't a long track at all. <laughs> Good boy, Kemper. Good boy. Good boy, Kemper. Congratulations. <laughs> Good boy, Kemper. <laughs> that's a nice one. Oh, that's probably the biggest, well, not, maybe not the biggest frame, but overall the biggest buck we found this year. That's nice. Is he okay? Is he yeah. Good boy. <laughs> I should have the camera on the whole time. I, I shut it off right, right before because I didn't. I'm trying to keep her out of the video. Um, but yeah, I shut it off right after I, like right before I turned around to ask where he was standing in that. I didn't realize you were only going to be another 100 yards. <laughs> got kind of a short video today um, I have some footage from in the tree stand that was I think it was Monday so I might just throw that in after this so thanks for watching Bottom, because I've I've seen a lot of porcupines in my hunting adventures over the years, and that one by far is the coolest one I've ever seen. He's all black. Usually you can see like the tips of 
the quills are like white he does have that a little bit farther back especially like on the tail but like his whole face and like most of his back it's just solid black like that's pretty cool so i'm probably gonna end up mounting them but yeah it was it's pretty neat <laughs>